This is my first time using my streaming fellas, so I'm super excited about it. Uh, this video is about how I got into AI, how I started using AI to make crystal inspired fashion and furniture and artwork. Um, you'll see on the screen some examples of some of my AI work. So on the top is some of my AI fashion. This was a piece that I submitted to the Fashion DAO um, that's minted and shown in their uh, virtual gallery. And the bottom one is called Sunburst. It's from my object collection, main character energy. Um, so I started making AI art in fall of 2022. I was kind of just interested in how I could use AI to save money and be more efficient as a small business owner. Um, I own a crystal store, as most of you know, good juju. We're turning five this year. Um, and over the years, we've worked with a lot of contractors, um, copywriters, graphic designers, et cetera, to provide content and kind of help me run the business. But no one's time is free, <laughs> obviously, and it can get costly and it can really add up. So I was interested in how I could use AI to create content for good juju so first i started using it just to write tweets and mainly for copy so i started using copy ai and chat gbt uh, to write blogs to write uh, email newsletters things like that um, which you can see on the good juju website in our self-care blog at the bottom of all of the blogs that are written with ai there's a little disclaimer that says like chat gbt wrote this <laughs> Um, so that was interesting. And then I started noticing that people were using Dali and Stable Diffusion and Midjourney to use text to image uh, prompting to create graphics and that people were um, not only creating these images, but they were selling them as NFTs. Um, and with Good Juju, our Genesis collection that we minted in 2021, uh, we worked with an artist named Annie Bernay, um, who I love, who's created a lot of amazing assets for us over the years. Um, but Annie is not super interested in Web3 and NFTs and I kind of, um, I paid her for the art and then went through the whole process of making them NFTs and getting her permission to use them in that way. Um, and as someone who's not like an artist by trade, it can become kind of cost prohibitive um, to get designs made and, and work with artists and commission them. Um, so. I had the idea like, okay, I have all these things in mind of other things I want to make and do. Um, why don't I see if it's possible with Midjourney? So, well, I actually started out with Dolly 2 um, and I minted my first AI NFT in November of 2022 as a part of the Good Juju AI exploration. Um, it's a collection on OpenSea and they're basically just free mints um, that I was dropping kind of on a weekly or monthly basis just to show people like I'm making this, um, what do you think about it? So started out with Dolly and, and soon after started seeing different things about Sable Diffusion and Midjourney, um, started seeing people's work on Midjourney. I think at the time Midjourney 4 was out, I, at the time of recording this, we're now at 5.1. And who knows if you watch this in the future, what version of Midjourney will be at, if it even still exists. Um, so started using Midjourney after Dolly and started getting really good responses to the AI generated crystal inspired fashion and furniture that I was creating um, and encouragement to start minting it. Um, so started exploring minting on, on foundation and object and had a lot of success with people collecting one of ones and additions. Um, actually more success with my AI art than anything I've put on the blockchain the last couple of years. So that was exciting. Um, I created a really beautiful AI fashion collection called Geo Dreams that was shown in AI Fashion Week, which was an incredible opportunity. Uh, it was not selected as a winner, um, but just exposed me to so many talented creators. Um, so as of right now, I'm using Midjourney mostly to create crystal inspired AI artwork, everything ranging from fashion to furniture to surreal portraits. Um, you can go on the Good Juju website and click the digital collectibles tab to check out not only my artwork, but Annie Bernays artwork um, from our Genesis collection Juju Gallery. And just a reminder that 
the only NFTs with utility are Juju Gallery. Um, my AI art is just art for the sake of art. There's no utility associated with them. Um, so if you want the lifetime discount and freebies and all the things that come with being a Juju Gallery collector, you're going to have to grab one of those Genesis NFTs. Um, also, I host Mid Journey Mondays every Monday here. It's a live stream I do on YouTube for about an hour at, at 12 Eastern, just kind of teaching people how to use Mid Journey and going over all the features. Uh, so please feel free to join me for that. Um, but yeah, this was my quick and dirty story about how I got into AI and started using AI to create uh, art and specifically my NFT art. If you have any questions, feel free to slide in my DMs on Twitter. I'm Juju Mama on Twitter. Uh, you'll recognize me from this cute PFP <laughs> that I'm using in this uh, this live stream. Again, this is my first time using it, and I'm super excited about it. Like I didn't have to do my hair, put makeup on. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this turns out good. I'm gonna stop the recording now and I'm just gonna upload it raw. I'm not gonna edit this or anything. So if I slipped over my words at any point, oh well, I'm human. All right, y'all, see you next time. If you watch this to the end, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our channel is not at a point where I can monetize it yet. We don't have enough subscribers uh, and subscribing is free. So please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all next.